Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co-host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. This week, we're going to be talking about pillows, and we're going to be releasing our sixth ebook soon, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know. And we'd like to thank Joseph Domino for liking and sharing the podcast. In ancient Egypt, pillows were carved out of wood, stone, ivory, or ceramic to elevate and cradle your head to reduce neck pain and also to help prevent insects from crawling into your ears, nose, or mouth. How does sleeping on stone help (laughs) neck pain? (laughs) Well, it keeps your head lined up rather than your head, you know, off to one side. It's still stone. (laughs) Yeah, it seems weird, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The ancient Greeks and Romans used cloth cases filled with cotton, feathers, straw, or other relatively soft material to make pillows. So it seems a little better idea. In 1897, the Sears catalog had 63 styles of pillows. There were a variety of different fillings, and the prices ranged from 45 cents to $6. Wow. Do they still make catalogs? I really miss the Sears catalog. (laughs) Sleep expert Michael Bruce, it's B-R-E-U-S, he's the author of Good Night, a four-week program to better sleep, says pillows impact the quality of our sleep, and most people spend the money for a quality mattress and then not get a quality pillow or the wrong type of pillow for your sleep position. Hmm. A Mount Sinai Medical Center orthopedic surgeon says the wrong pillow can worsen headaches, neck, and shoulder pain. And Rebecca Robbins, Ph.D. and co-author of Sleep for Success, says when you're shopping for a pillow, match the pillow type to your dominant sleep position. Okay. The National Sleep Foundation says from their studies, about 56% of people sleep on their side. A national sleep survey, they found 74% of people sleep on their side, 16% on their stomach, and 10% on their back. Uh-huh. WebMD They say about 63% of people sleep on their side. I read an article in Men's Journal. They're saying 65% of people sleep on their side and 17% of people sleep in the nude. (laughs) The Center for Integrative Medicine says to reduce neck pain, get a pillow that keeps your head, neck, and spine in a straight line. It's called neutral alignment. And they suggest sleeping on your side or your back, not on your stomach. Hmm. Doesn't sleeping on your back cause you to snore? Yeah, if you fall asleep on your back, your tongue relaxes and it can vibrate against your throat and that causes snoring. Hmm. It can also cause choking or sleep apnea. Explain that. Sleep apnea is when your breathing gets interrupted while you're asleep. And the main cause is your tongue and your jaw relaxes. It restricts your airflow and that's called obstructive sleep apnea or OSA. There's also something called central sleep apnea. And this is where your brain fails to signal your body to breathe scary. Yeah, weird. The American Academy of Dermatology says to help prevent wrinkles on your face and your neck to sleep on your back. You should try that. So, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so they say that lines can become permanent on your face. One dermatologist said you can have noticeably more lines or wrinkles on the side that you most often sleep on. So, so your if, right side? So if you... <laughs> can you tell? So if you're a side or stomach sleeper. So years of sleeping on one side of your face can cause unevenness in the texture and the volume of your skin. It's hmm. wild, isn't it? So if you have a hard time sleeping on your back, so evidently I'm going to need this, <laughs> some dermatologists recommend a silk pillowcase. So your skin slides across the surface rather than sticking to your pillowcase and causing wrinkles. And silk doesn't absorb your skin's natural oils, so it keeps it more hydrated. Hmm. Crazy. If you're looking for the best silk, it's mulberry silk. The silkworms are only fed mulberry leaves, and they produce very durable, pure white silk. And mulberry silk is all natural, it's odorless, and it's hypoallergenic. You know, the FDA tried to regulate the term hypoallergenic in 1975, but it was challenged by cosmetic companies. So there's no standard that products have to meet to carry that term on their label. That's crazy. Yeah. If you want to sleep on your back and reduce snoring, there are anti-snoring pillows that have ridges to tilt your head to the side, and that helps reduce snoring in some people. You can also get a foam wedge pillow, and it elevates your back and your head, reduces snoring, and it also helps keep your neck and your head in line. Hmm. 
If snoring isn't a problem, okay. what type of pillows should you use if you sleep on your back? So the most common recommendation is thin to medium thickness with soft to medium firmness. Okay. I spoke to Savvy Rest. It's S-A-V-V-Y, capital R-E-S-T. And they have certified organic pillows. And they suggest to go thin and soft if you sleep on your back. You don't want to incline your head too much. Some people sleep with just their head on the pillow, and some people prefer their shoulders and head on the pillow. So what does that mean? So you'd want to go softer if it's your head only. And if you're putting your shoulders and your head on the pillow, then you'd want to go with a firmer pillow. The University of Rochester Medical Center suggests trying a small pillow under the back of your knees if you sleep on your back, and that's going to help support your lower back. And your pillow should be just thick enough to support and cushion your head and keep the natural curve of your neck. The main thing you're trying to do with your pillow is keep your alignment. So if you have a very soft mattress and you sleep on your back, your stomach, you're going to want a thinner pillow. And if you're thinking about buying a new mattress and a pillow, you'd want a medium to firm mattress for sleeping on your back, your stomach, and then a soft or medium mattress for side sleeping. And that way your shoulder can sink in. For sleeping on your stomach, you want a thin, soft pillow. The Rochester Medical Center suggests adding a flat, soft pillow under your stomach and pelvis area, and this is going to help keep your spine in line and relieve stress. They recommend a very flat, soft pillow for underneath your head. And if you sleep on your side, you want a thicker, firmer pillow. One study found pillows that were around 4 inches thick and firm were the most comfortable but it's going to depend on your weight and your shoulder width and then, of course, your mattress firmness, how far you're sinking into it because you want to fill that space between your shoulder and head and that's going to keep your spine aligned. Mm, Interesting. For sleeping on your side, the Rochester Medical Center says to try a firm pillow between your knees to keep your spine aligned. It's going to cushion your knees and reduce stress on your back and bending your knees slightly will help reduce stress. When you're shopping for a pillow, you're going to see loft which is the height of the pillow, but the loft is going to vary depending on the material and how firm it is. A down pillow, for example, may be very thick, but once you put your head on it, it really flattens out. And you should go to some stores like Bed Bath & Beyond or some of the mattress stores, and that way you can get an idea of the different types of material and how they actually feel. Okay. I did a field trip this week. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond where they don't have mattresses, but they have a ton of pillows. It's pretty amazing. (laughs) And then I went to a couple of these mattress stores, and the one place had disposable covers you could put on the pillows and try them out. And pros are saying you should try out a pillow for 10 to 15 minutes and lay on it in your dominant pillow position. Professional? Sleep. Yes, pillow professionals. They suggest <laughs> laying on a pillow for 10 or 15 minutes in your main sleep position. And that's going to give you a feel. But it, they, they say it actually takes a couple of weeks of living with a pillow before you really get a feel whether you like it or not. Then can you return it? <laughs> What's well, interesting, there are a lot of trial periods with some of these manufacturers. Hmm. What types of material are used in a filling? So the less expensive pillows, they're using polyester as the filler. It's very durable and it can be blended to different firmnesses. The more expensive pillows with polyester, they mimic the softness of down. Or they can use it around a memory foam core for more support. They have poly clusters, and these are coated with silicone, so there's a pretty wide variety. And polyester, it's easy to wash, it's easy to maintain that type of pillow, and these are good for people with allergies. Hmm. Down pillows and feather pillows come in a wide range of prices. They're generally more expensive, and these are usually from geese or ducks. And down is that fluffy layer of fine feathers underneath the tougher exterior feathers. If you want a very soft pillow, you'd go with down, but it's not very supportive. If you're looking for more support, you'd go with feathers blended with the down. And when you're comparing down pillows, you're going to see fill power, so F-I-L-L, and you're going to see numbers like 600, 700, and 800. The higher the number, the larger the down clusters are, and it's going to be lighter, softer, and have more loft. And the higher numbers are actually going to last longer. It has to be at least 75% down feathers to be considered a down pillow. And if you have more than 25% of the pillow in feathers, it's considered a feather pillow or a feather down pillow. You have to fluff a down or feather pillow after you sleep on it so it keeps its shape? Right. And a couple of the disadvantages of feather or down, the feathers can poke through your pillowcase. 
Bummer. <laughs> and some allergy sufferers may be allergic to down or feathers. If you see a down or a feather pillow that says allergy-free, it's been sanitized. Depending on the thickness, down and feather pillows are popular for back and stomach sleepers. And check the recommended maintenance. Some are recommending dry cleaning. If your pillow says it can be machine washed, you can use a front loading machine. It's going to be more gentle on the pillow. You'd want to use warm water and a non-bleach detergent. You don't want to use woolite or anything that will remove the natural oils. You don't want to put any fabric softeners in it. You're going to wash it a second time with no detergent to make sure all the soap is washed off. And then dry your pillows very thoroughly so it doesn't encourage mold or mildew. Down and feather pillows can take two to three hours or longer to fully dry because you're using low or medium heat. And you don't want to load the dryer with other clothes. The pillows need room to fluff up. You can add one or two tennis balls and that's going to help separate the feathers so they dry evenly. You want to check them every 20 minutes or so, fluff them up. You want to give them plenty of time to dry. You don't want any moisture inside the pillow. So you're checking it every 20 minutes for two or three hours? Yes, or longer. Just buy a new pillow. <laughs> no, some of these are very expensive. <laughs> but th- and you want to take care of, of your, you want to take care of your pillow. <laughs> and read the label for the maintenance and recommended cleaners. Nick Wax, it's N I K W A X. They have a down wash direct. And this is for any of your gear that's down, so pillows, sleeping bags, jackets. You definitely want something that's not going to damage your down or your feathers. Okay. Memory foam pillows can be made from polyurethane foam or plant-based foam, which is sometimes called natural foam. And they can be made out of coconut, soy, or other plant-based materials. There's gel memory foam, and the gel pillows are usually a gel layer on top of traditional memory foam, or it could be gel-infused memory foam. And the gel pillows are rated as cooler than traditional memory foam, which can get warm. The memory foam, it's sensitive to pressure and heat, and it's going to mold itself to the shape of your head for comfort and support. These types of pillows are firmer than others? Right. They're not going to flatten like a down or a feather pillow, but they are going to come soft, medium, and firm in a variety of thicknesses. And the memory foam is rated very good for side sleepers, You can get ventilated or perforated memory foam, and they have small air holes, and that's going to allow airflow to keep the pillow cooler. Hmm. Shredded memory foam pillows have large or small pieces of memory foam as the filler, and this allows air to flow through it. You can fluff this and adjust the pillow. Many people are sensitive, though, to the smell of traditional memory foam when they first try them out. So one suggestion is when you get your pillow to take it out of the packaging and let it air out for a couple of days before you use it. Hmm. If you're concerned with VOCs and chemical odors, look for pillows with the Certi Pure US label. So it's C E R T I capital P U R dash U S. And this is certifying by independent tests that the pillow is low VOC. It's made without phthalates, formaldehyde, mercury, lead, or heavy metals. And the products are recertified every year for compliance. Most memory foam is going to be hypoallergenic, resistant to bacterial growth, and dust mites. I would check the label for the cleaning and maintenance. One recommendation I saw was take off the cover, sprinkle the pillow with baking soda all over the foam, let it set for an hour or two, and then vacuum it off. You don't want to put memory foam in a washing machine. And there's quite a few different types of foam or memory foam pillows with other fillers. So compare the cleaning and maintenance recommendations when shopping. Okay. Latex pillows can be 100% latex or synthetic or a blend, so compare that when you're shopping. Natural latex comes from a tree. It's mold, bacteria, and dust mite resistant. Latex is going to be soft. It's going to hold its shape well. And latex doesn't get hot like some memory foam can. When you see Dunlop or Talale latex, it's how the latex is processed. The Talalay is going to be softer, the Dunlop is going to be denser, and you can get latex pillows in soft, medium, or firm in a range of thicknesses to match your sleeping position. You can get shredded latex, and that's going to let you shape the pillow. That'd be good for back sleepers. They're easy to maintain, and usually you can hand wash these if you need to. Fantastic. Buckwheat pillows are filled with the hulls of the buckwheat seed. So this has a similar feel to a bean bag. They don't retain heat, they can be shaped, but they hold their shape very well. So this is good for side sleepers. And most people don't have a sensitivity to buckwheat. It's dust mite resistant. 
although it does make a rustling sound when you move your head, <laughs> and most manufacturers don't recommend washing them. Kapok pillows are filled with the fluffy fibers from the Kapok seed. It's K-A-P-O-K, and this comes from a rainforest tree. It's very soft. It's cotton-like. Some people compare it to the feel of a down pillow. It's resistant to dust mites and moisture. In fact, some of the first life jackets, they used Kapok. You'd maintain it similar to down, but check the label. It comes in a range of thicknesses. You can also get wool pillows. They're antimicrobial, antibacterial, they're dust mite resistant, breathable, and according to the University of Leeds, they keep you cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Most of them are dry clean only, but check the label. Some are machine wash on delicate. Do you have anything to teach us about sheep? George Washington raised sheep, and then President Woodrow Wilson, he used sheep to graze on the lawn of the White House because he didn't want to use a lawnmower. <laughs> Compare pillowcases and the material they use. A removable cover that's washable may come over the material that holds in the filler. And if you suffer from allergies, look for anti-allergen or dust mite covers. The National Sleep Foundation recommends using an anti-allergen pillowcase and wash it at least once every six months to remove drool, sweat, dust, skin cells, and oils. Yeah. The University of Manchester studied old pillows and found up to 16 species of fungi growing inside them. One study on old pillows that were two to four years old said 10% of the weight was dead dust mites, their droppings, skin cells, dust, and mold. So the Mayo Clinic, the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, and the National Heart and Lung and Blood Institute all recommend allergen-proof fabric pillow covers. Super gross. A doctor from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends changing an inexpensive pillow every 6 to 12 months, a memory foam or a quality pillow with good structural integrity every 18 to 36 months, or a more expensive pillow go by the warranty. Okay. You should compare the warranty for the quality of the pillow, and then especially if you're purchasing online, do they have a trial period? So I spoke to Ghost Pillow, it's G-H-O-S-T, and they have a pillow that sleeps cool. It's made from aerated gel memory foam. It has one side with phase change material. So these are small capsules that absorb heat, and then they release it depending on your body temperature to keep you cooler. Hmm. It has an inner cover that's cotton and then an outer cover. One side is moisture wicking and the other side is polyester and spandex. It's Certi Pure US certified and the inventor is part of the Werner family. So from Werner Ladders. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah. These pillows have a 101 day trial period. So you can try them for a couple of months, see if you like it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you can return it and it has a five year warranty. Wow. Purple Pillow has a 100-night trial, and you can return it any time if you don't like it. Tempur-Pedic has a 90-night trial, but they recommend you use it for at least 30 days to get used to the pillow before you're allowed to return it. Mm. Layla, it's L-A-Y-L-A, -L -A, they have a K-Pak and memory foam pillow that has a 120-day trial period, a five-year warranty. And there's a pillow called Night Pillow, N-I-G-H-T. It has a 101-day trial, a three-year warranty, and the cover is tri-silk. It's 95% mulberry silk, 5% spandex. When I spoke to Savvy Rest, they have pillows that are adjustable for the height and the firmness. Hmm. So you can add or remove filler to custom fit to your head and shoulders. That's it's nice. Pretty wild. So they have seven styles, three that are natural latex, and then four that are customizable with loose fill. They have shredded natural latex, organic wool, they have a wool and natural latex blend and kapok. They use unbleached organic cotton pillowcases with a flannel finish, and it's Green Guard certified for low chemical emissions. And they say that they overfill their customizable pillows so you can remove filler and then keep that extra filler so you can adjust it in the future. And they have a three year warranty. <laughs> I spoke to Remfit, it's R-E-M-F-I-T, and they have a smart pillow called Zeke. It's Z-E-E-Q. It has eight speakers inside the pillow, and this connects to your phone. You can do it with an app, or you can wirelessly send music to your pillow. You can listen to a podcast. 
So you could listen to a pillow podcast through your pillow. You can listen to like sleep meditations or music. I'm sure we put people to sleep. <laughs> and what's interesting about this is they have sleep trackers, so you can see it'll track you know how much you toss and turn. If you snore, it it listens to you, and if you start to snore, it vibrates. <laughs> so that you change your position, you stop snoring. You can have alarms set up in this. So just a very interesting pillow. Yeah. There's a company called Eight Sleep. It's E I G H T Sleep, and they have a pillow that's adjustable with removable layers. It can adjust to nine different thicknesses and firmnesses depending on your sleep position, and the cover is cotton with a sewn-in layer of shredded polyester. And they also have a smart mattress cover. So it can analyze how you're sleeping and help you get a better night's sleep. What about sizes for pillows? So a standard size is 20 inches by 26 inches. Super standard, Mm -hmm. 20 by 28 inches. A queen is 20 by 30 inches. A king, 20 by 36 inches. And then they have body pillows that you can kind of just hug. Mm -hmm. They're 20 inches by 54 inches. (laughs) Along with the pillows we mentioned, some other top-rated companies are Coop Home Goods, it's C-O-O-P, U-T-T-U, Extreme Comforts, and Extreme is spelled X-T-R-E-M-E, Casper, Bear, B-E-A-R, Sweet Night Pillow, and I asked Alexa what she thought the best pillow was, and she said the Dream North Premium Gel Pillow. (laughs) Do you have anything else to add? When you're shopping for a pillow, you want to match the pillow to your sleep position. I would compare the warranties. And if you're purchasing online, take a look at the trial periods and get a dust mite cover. (laughs) Let's wrap this up. You can subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, CastBox, the Pandora mobile app, or your favorite podcast app. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our books, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five-star rating and review. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com, and you can follow Cindy on Twitter at fixitcohost. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week. Deep, 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 deep,